Hey guys, I'm here at the LA Auto Show 2023, and it's time to pay homage to the beautiful Lexus LC500 convertible. It has been given a little bit of a refresh for 2024. This is the first time I've got my hands on it. I've done the press releases. I've done the coverage from my comfort of my studio, but now it's time to break down the all new, well, all new refreshed <laughs> LC500. LC500 Inspiration Series starting at 120K. No big deal. If you guys want to read more about it, go ahead and pause right there. But I want to get into the details because this thing is offering new things we haven't seen on an LC500 before. We have a fully blacked out grill here. Typically, this is more of like an aluminum trim at the bottom of checkout. It goes all the way around uh, that Lexus spindle grill. This is all blacked out. Typically, this is kind of like a silver color. It looks incredible here. Now, it doesn't in there, right? This no change that uh, L motif detail, I like the cluster of the triple beams, but look at this black surround of it, sparkly black, looking excellent, um, instead of like a gray finish that you see on other trims. And you have these canards that are all new on this Inspiration Series as well. Uh, Lexus using new molding technologies for plastics to be able to get these uh, onto the bumper. Let's flow straight into these tires here and these wheels. These five spoke split spoke look absolutely gorgeous with that matte finish, huge Lexus uh, brakes in there as well. We get up, look at it from the side. I would be getting the LC500 into the convertible form. Uh, it's, you know, the coupe is maybe a little bit tighter, better performing. You can get some more performance upgrades on it from the factory, but the gorgeous vehicle really comes through uh, when it's in the convertible form. We'll get on the inside here in a little bit long rear uh, section and deck flowing into the trunk area. Uh, typically in the coupe, this is a little bit higher, right? But it sits right above uh, on the top of the trunk lid. Blacked out area down here, and this is the thing. If you get a normal LC500, this is kind of like a high reflective uh, bright material. This is now like a, a dark aluminum instead of a bright aluminum. And it makes the rear exhaust look so much better from the factory. It flows with this uh, black garnish, this glossy black, so much better. We got the Infinity afterburner rear taillights. Still looking great here since this vehicle's been introduced. It uh, hasn't been changed with the headlights and taillights really since 2018. Um, but I want to get on the inside if it's possible. I might not be able to. I don't know if Lexus is gonna, oh, there we go. I know a trick or two about the LC500. Now, this Inspiration Series, oh my goodness. Look at uh, the carbon fiber entry here. That's always been a, an option on the LC500, but the Inspiration Series gets its own little print here at the bottom in carbon fiber. Look at this blue finish, kind of have that, what I call like the Sonic Green Hill Zone checker pattern that goes through here. Uh, the materials are absolutely amazing. I just came from the Genesis GV80 coupe, and these materials are even just uh, slightly better than that, as it should. It's a more expensive vehicle. Look at the blue interior, the pillars, uh, even the the vanity mirror, all blue. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. I turned off the lights so you guys aren't annoyed by that dinging. We still have the huge aluminum paddle shifters here, blue steering wheel. You got the aluminum pedals down there at the bottom, head up display and check out the materials are soft touch even all the way down here. Look at these seats. Now the materials haven't changed, but the color has, it looks awesome. Uh, the rear seats, we got speakers back here, the Mark Levinson coming out the back. Um, and you also have the neck coolers or neck warmers. I forget exactly. I think it's the neck coolers that come from here, but I could be wrong. It could be warmers as well. Uh, Mark Levinson subwoofer right in the middle. No one with legs would be able to fit in the back. I've seen it. Not, I've seen people have to sit sideways for longer trips in there instead of forwards because it's just not possible. Now what's new for the LC500 uh, for 2024 is the screen. It's a bigger screen. It's a 12 inches. It's going to be touch screen. Um, and unfortunately, we had to get away from the clock, the traditional clock that sat somewhere in this area. I forget exactly where, but that's gone. Also, this piece down here looks really strange. It's kind of like this sparkly uh, gray material. This used to be where the CD player lived on the old uh, infotainment system. See the Inspiration Series plaque, one of 125. They took out the shifter here, so you can't steal the little Lexus shifting knob. Uh, the volume knob, very premium feeling. Everything in here looks great. Um, heated steering wheel, heated seat button. 
that might be new as well. I don't remember seeing that in all the models in the past. Now, to flip this up, that's how you open and close uh, the retract retractable top. It is a soft top here. And just look, all the materials uh, there, that soft open. Look at that, that soft open. All the details are figured out here on the LC500. Uh, and, th and this used to be like a strange, it almost looked like a screen, but I like how they've replaced it with this checkerboard material in the middle. Um, it looks a little bit more cohesive as well. So that's about it on the LC500. Of course, it still comes with the naturally aspirated 5 liter V8. I might turn the uh, daytime running lights back on, the parking lights. And what do you guys think? Would you be dropping 120K on this Inspiration Series? Oh, man, I think it's worth every penny. You guys know how I feel about the LC500, one of my favorite vehicles. And actually, this is a new paint color. I just realized this is a new paint color, I believe, on the LC500 exterior. Uh, Polar Surge Satin, Satin White Exterior Paint. Yeah, it's not nearly as reflective as something like Eminent White Pearl. It's got more of a sheen to it, more of a matte, like a semi-matte. It looks really, really cool. Anyways, I'm gonna end it there. So many vehicles to cover here at uh, the LA Auto Show. I got Lexus GX over there. Probably, I mean, the rest of the vehicles you've already seen before, even uh, the RCF Track Edition hasn't changed much over the years. Man, it's got a lot of presence though. Thank you guys, I'll catch you in the next one.